Praise the name of the Lord Jesus and a pleasant Thursday morning. Praise God. Indeed, my friend, we are blessed. Amen to be here. Praise God. Many did not make it. Amen. So let us give God the glory. Praise God for another chance, another day. Praise God to lift up his name, to worship him, to glorify him, to do the things that he instructed us in the scripture to do praise god welcome to another day's devotion for our readings today we are looking at galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 praise god and it reads thus let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Praise God. One of the main um, you know, theme of this verse, my friend, is doing good. Praise God. The Lord Jesus wants us to do the things that are good, which is to decree and declare, thus said the Lord, to tell others about the gospel, to preach and teach, amen, to the four corners of the earth, for he said he will not put in his appearance until, amen, the gospel be preached in the four corners of the earth praise god but he said he know that we will sometimes get weary in doing the things that are good but we should not let that weariness stop us praise god from doing the work of the lord from decreeing and declaring thus said the lord from lifting up his name worshiping him in spirit and in truth walking on the straight and narrow path not looking to the right hand or to the left but maintaining our integrity in him praise God amen he said that we should not faint we should not give up doing these things because we know that the time of the end is drawing near and because it is getting closer to the end therefore we must buckle up amen and we amen must be more determined praise God to come and do the work of the Lord praise God because if we should give up now we would not reap anything because what uh, giving up means is that we are gonna turn our back on our God and the songwriter said what fault amen has believers found with their Lord for when many have taste salvation taste the goodness of God taste amen praise God the word Word of the true and living God and taste and see how good the God Almighty Amen is praise God and after they have tasted Amen praise God the goodness of salvation the goodness Amen of living a holy and righteous life after they have tasted Amen and see how good God is and turn their back on God Amen praise God that my friend is something to question what fault have believers found with their God so my friend you have tasted and see that the Lord is good continue praise God to decree and declare his word continue to walk in his footsteps following after his examples continue to press toward the mark of the high calling of God because it said the scripture said amen that if we should turn our back Back on God after we have tasted his goodness we would be like dogs returning to our vomit because what are we going back into in this world sin and corruption amen and wickedness and God Almighty it is a detestable thing amen to come and taste at the table of the Lord and then turn our back and returning to our vomit God Almighty going back into sin going back into to condemnation going back amen into depravity so the scripture said we should not faint amen praise God he said we should not faint amen praise God let us not become weary in doing good to do good means to preach the gospel to 
decree and declare thus said the Lord praise God to do everything that were instructed to us in scripture don't become weary in doing good for at the proper time amen praise God the scripture said we will reap praise God reap what a harvest praise God amen so God have some good things in store for you some good things in store for me but how can we reap if we give up that's why he said we will reap praise God if we do not give up therefore I am here to tell you today do not give up keep pressing amen though the road is rough though it gets tough though amen attacks comes left right and center from the old devil amen though the situation seem impossible remember with God nothing is impossible my friend so let go and let God for God is able to do exceeding abundantly above more than what you could comprehend praise God so he said let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up praise God so no matter the attacks of the enemy no matter the circumstances no matter the discouraging situations praise God do not give up is what the Apostle Paul is telling you today and I am amen praise God telling you today encouraging you today building up your faith building up your spiritual man today amen to not give up keep doing that good work that God called you to do because you shall reap a harvest amen if you do not quit father in the name of Jesus we glorify you we lift you up oh God we praise and exalt your father we thank you for another day another word praise God for your presence that is with us we pray for this this person God who God Almighty is watching listening God Almighty amen praise God and being strengthened by these words I pray that you will cover this person from the crown of the head God to the very soul of the feet God Almighty and help this person amen to understand God Almighty that they will reap a harvest praise God because you have some good things in store for us amen but first we need to understand that the condition that applies is that we continue to do good we can continue to preach we continue to teach we continue God Almighty to live up to the standard of the scripture we continue to walk uprightly staying on the straight and narrow path and continue God Almighty to follow after your examples you said when we follow those things amen that we will reap because we have not quit we did not quit we did not give up praise God help us God to not give up though it gets tough though it gets rough amen praise God help us to not give up oh God on the things amen that pertains to salvation and pertains to your will and purpose for our lives help us God for it gets tough at times but God with Christ in the vessel we can smile at the storm have your way even in the life of the person watching right now you know what this person is going through this day right now God I pray for divine intervention in this person's life and you will give this person strength to continue to do your work praise God and to not give up praise God to continue to do the good work amen praise God for when we die and buried in the grave we can do nothing more amen so while we are alive God Almighty and the blood is running warm in our veins we pray for strength and a surplus of your anointing God to keep pressing in Jesus name we pray Amen. If you believe it, type in the box, Lord, give me the strength to continue to do the work that you called me to do. God bless you.